No, I got it. Okay. You're entering your senior weekend here. How, how are you gonna? Do you think you're gonna think of your time at Oregon? And doing what you've got? Um, I mean, I'm very appreciative of the opportunity firsthand. Uh, you know, uh, coming in here, I kind of expected, you know, the fans and you know the team and the coaches to be like this. So, um, just very appreciative, you know. Uh, I'm trying to finish out this year, you know, the best way possible. Um, in the grace of God, hopefully we can, you know, make an impact and a, and a great run in the tournament. So, um, yeah. Coach is talking about not having Chris for at least a couple more weeks. He's hopefully he can make it back down the road. But that, you know, without him for a couple weeks, rebounding is really, really where he's. I feel like is it, is it on everybody else to try to make up for for that loss of Dorte uh, in that role? Yeah, definitely. Um, he's been uh, touching on that base uh, all week, even last week when we, uh, when we didn't play with uh, Dorte. So all the guys know what they need to do um, in order that everyone like crash one back. So as long as we as long as we can be aggressive and everyone contribute, then like we should be good. As you've gotten to know Green this year, what are the qualities of his that stick out? You know, he a guy too, who's at the end of his four years here. He's made a lot of impressions on the fans here, but you a guy who just kind of just been getting to know him. What, what sticks out of him? Man, he's a hard worker. I mean, the first day I met him, I uh, worked out in his high school. And He's going 100 miles per hour, no chill, no relaxing, um, and I just knew that was he was going for all four years. So, I mean, you have nothing to do but respect it as a fan. So, you know, it's just in the hard work and, you know, shows it on the court. So. I guess we're not saying this weekend, but, but it is a must-win scenario to keep you guys alive for first place and for conference title. Just how do you mentally approach that? I'm um, just game by game, man. We're not looking past these two games. We're not looking past the first game tomorrow. Just gotta go in with the same mindset, you know, 40 minutes to compete and then you know, try to come up with toys.